And what's up you guys, welcome to the Mango Grove, my name is Krusha and this is today's Theta Fuel analysis video. We will be going over both those pairs, okay, T Fuel USDT as well as T Fuel BTC. Now a lot of eyes have been on this, uh, many people sort of got into T Fuel after the pump and well, you guys know, while this was a volatile move to the upside, that was a 10x by the way, that was also an equally volatile move to, well, the downside. Okay, now this was a good 60% dump. Now I'm pretty much going to approach this chart like I do all the other altcoins as well. The first thing I'm going to do is start off with the Mango dashboard because I want to see what Theta Fuel is signaling on the dashboard. We'll start off with that two-day time frame, and what do you know guys, on that top gainers list, the top three gainers list, T Fuel has two positions on there, T Fuel USDT as well as T Fuel BTC. Okay, so for those of you who did manage to catch T Fuel on the Mango dashboard, the dashboard gave you a long signal 19 days ago. Okay, and since then, after, even after the dip, you're still up 246%. This is on T Fuel BTC. If you took the T Fuel USDT trade, this also gave you a long signal 19 days ago, and since then you are up 261%. And once again, guys, this is even after the 60% dip to the downside. Now, um, okay, this is long, you know, but however, we cannot ignore the fact that while well, T-Fuel took a 60% dump to the downside. Now, question is, what we want to find out is whether or not this has, you know, more upside to it or is the trend done? Are we moving down from here, right? So let's move on to those lower time frames. We're going to go on to the four hour uh, trend signals. And what do you know, guys? T Fuel BDC flipped long four hours ago, and T Fuel USDT also flipped long four hours ago. So now let's actually get onto the chart to see what T Fuel could very well be doing, right, in the more immediate hours of the day. Now, this is T Fuel on that daily time frame. Um, note that we will be dissecting both charts, okay, T Fuel USDT as well as T Fuel BTC to get a more holistic picture of what, um, you know, what price action could be doing, whether we have more weight to go to the upside or do we dump from here right so um this is t fuel on the daily i'm going to start off by marking those high level horizontals i believe we have one around here one right around here i do believe that this one is also a region but let me just zoom out and we'll check it out um yeah yeah that is a that is a horizontal right around there okay and i'm going to mark one more resistance overhead so if we um if we start, you know, if T Fuel starts making a bullish turn here, I think the next region that will be contested is all the way up here at one cent. Okay, now the first thing that really pops out on my screen, guys, is um, how price is sort of, um, it's it's very iffy around this region right here. Okay, it's, it's looking weak um, around the support. And I don't want to see that usually when I'm looking for strong price action or I am looking for that continuation to the upside. But let's actually go ahead and turn on our Ichimoku cloud. And what do you know? Price is still holding that 21 EMA. I mean, ideally, what I would have liked if I had a bag of tea fuel, I would have wanted um, price to, well, hold this wick right here. This wick, I'm looking at this candle right here on 29th of May 2020, the lowest part of that wick sitting at around 0.0082. I, I would have wanted price to hold that as the low. Okay, however, note that price so far, all these daily consecutive candles that we've had, has been closing over that 0 0.0082 region. Okay, we've been closing over that. However, notice these wicks. We have been wicking past it. Okay, but what cannot be ignored is that we still have that 21 EMA underneath us and it seems like it is guiding price action. I mean, so far guys, if you just kind of zoom out, ever since uh, T Fuel USDT started this move to the upside, we've been holding that 21 EMA quite quite well. This right here was a trap. We lost it here only to take it back and what do you know? You know, we had that huge ensuing move to the upside. This was a 10x, guys, a 10x. Okay, nothing to be scoffed at. Um, the last time I saw a 10x personally was in the last bull, bull cycle back in 2017. I'm sure, I mean, coins have pumped 10x since then, but um, nothing that I have heard of personally. T Fuel is one of the very first ones this year for me, at least. Okay, now um, this is still looking decent. What I would not want if I am someone who's still in a long position on T Fuel USDT, I would not want price losing the 21 EMA. 
okay? I do believe losing the 21 EMA is going to be the first bearish tell, at which point I will be looking for price to make its way all the way down here at around 0.0062 cents, okay? While this may look like a small uh, region on my chart, it is not, okay? This is a good 20% to the downside. This is a volatile chart, chart right now, guys. It is extremely, extremely volatile. So be very careful in um, in really holding on to those bags. Okay, look for those those horizontals. You know, define a, a zone for yourself and have a hypothesis on that zone. Tell yourself that, hey, if price breaks this, I am invalidated on my trade. I need to get out. Holding a losing bag does not help you, buddy. Okay, so be careful. Um, have an invalidation point on this trade if you are someone who is still in a T fuel trade. Okay, now of course this could very well take a turn to, to the upside. Now we did see um, the dashboard flip long on those lower time frames, right? So let's get onto that lower time frame on T fuel USDT and see what it could be doing there. Now the first thing I see here is that okay, uh, price has been holding that 21 EMA. As resistance we try taking it out only to lose it on the next candle and it appears that we have done something very very similar here right I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on the 10 simple as well and wow okay so um, this is interesting I'm gonna zoom out I want to see what price has done relative to these two EMAs uh, sorry the two um, the two moving averages that the red one is the 10 simple moving average and the yellow one is the 21 exponential moving average okay so I want to see what price has done relative to these, to these levels how well do we trend on it and we do pretty damn well on this guys I mean, ever since T Fuel started its its uh, trend, that 21 EMA has been a beautiful, beautiful buy opportunity every time. Notice how price trends on that 21 EMA as well as that Tenkin, right? So as soon as price takes out that Tenkin, it usually makes a move to the upside. Every time it loses it, it says that hey, the trend is cooling off right now. But as soon as we took it back here, once again, instant move to the upside. We never even lost it on this consolidation right here. Okay, so that Tenkin seems to be very, very powerful right now. And um, okay, so we never lost it until we lost the Tenkin right here. And we have been holding it as well resistance ever since. Okay, resistance along with the 10 SMA as well as that 21 EMA. So it was looking rather weak here. But what do you know? Now we're all kind of scrunched up. I mean, this looks like a beautiful beautiful sandwich. I mean, this could either break up from here or down. Now, what I will consider as bullish is if price manages to take out that Tenkin. Okay, taking out that Tenkin will be the first bullish tell, at which point I will be looking for consecutive candle body closes, four hour candle body closes over that Tenkin. Okay, price doing that will flip the picture in my opinion, at least in those immediate hours of the day. Okay, look for how price reacts to that Tenkin. For those of you who do not know what settings we use for the Ichimoku Cloud, these are the double settings, okay? So pull up the Ichimoku Cloud, it is an absolutely free indicator, all right? And the double settings are 20, 60, 120, 30. Now the first region that, uh, if we manage to do that, the first region that will be contested is only gonna be here at around that point, um, at one cent pretty much okay one cent is gonna be the first point of resistance the second one is going to be all the way up at that Kijun okay that's what I'll be looking for if if price starts closing over that Tenkin on the flip side on the bearish side if we lose the 10 SMA again and we start closing consecutive candles underneath that 10 SMA and I want you to notice how it is in line with our major daily horizontal okay if we start closing consecutive four hour candles underneath it and we use it as overhead resistance that will be a bearish picture at which point I'll be looking for price to make its way all the way down here 0 0.0077 cents okay losing this Okay, on the daily time frame, I'm going to then switch on to the daily time frame and I'm going to watch at how price reacts off of that 21 EMA. Okay, coming all the way down here will be price losing that 21 EMA. If we close a daily candle underneath that 21 EMA, I think it's going to be game for the bulls. Right now, guys, as things stand, T Fuel USDT seems to be in, um, it seems to be hovering in no man's land. 
Okay, now um, another thing I'm noticing here is that 10 SMA that's sort of just coming down, it's coming down quite aggressively. That's a very, very steep slope on that. If T Fuel manages to close on the bullish side, if we manage to start closing candles over the 10 simple moving average on the daily time frame, I do believe that this picture is going to flip bullish once again okay at which point the next level of resistance is only going to be up here at around that point zero one three cents all right but the main levels that you need to be looking at right now on this chart is that daily 21 ema okay and on the four hour time frame you're looking at that tenkin taking out that tenkin and closing consecutive candles over that tenkin will flip this picture and i do believe that the bulls could very well take over over from there now let's get on to t fuel bdc to see what it could be doing and you know i mean it applies that this too is consolidating and there you go right it's it's once again a very very tight sandwich on that four hour time frame if if you notice that t fuel usdt is consolidating in a tight range and it is currently hovering in no man's land i usually wouldn't expect t fuel bdc to be doing any anything different unless bitcoin of course is having some sort of volatile move to the downside or the upside but that is not happening right now bitcoin too is hovering in its range now um once again guys it's the same picture here too okay we have a sandwich between the tenkin 21 ema and the 10 simple moving average this too could swing either way but note that i'm seeing a pattern play here okay this is a bearish pattern but um, it has not been activated yet, okay? Now, a pattern only becomes a pattern after the break of the neckline. Now, this is a descending triangle with um, this region right here at around that 87 sats being, well, the bottom of the triangle. If price breaks this to the downside, okay, only then will this pattern be activated, at which point the measured move of this bearish uh, de descending triangle will take T fuel all the way down to, and where is this? 54 sats. Okay, this is not going to be a small move to the downside. This is going to be a pretty significant chunk. It's a good 37% to the downside. Okay, that is not a small amount. And that's why I always emphasize, you know, the, the thing of actually having an invalidation point on all of your trades. While a lot of people, they get into trades and they're only looking at the upside. They're only looking at the positives, right? They're only looking at their potential profits. But a lot of them do not consider the potential downside. And coins like this, where the chart is extremely volatile, that could hurt you really bad. Okay, that could hurt your entire portfolio pretty severely okay so be careful have those invalidation points and if i was currently in a trade on t fuel this right here this horizontal would be my invalidation point okay at 87 sats now this is on that four hour time frame i do believe that once again taking out that tenkin could put the bulls back in control that is if and only if we have consecutive candle body closes over the four hour tenkin Okay, now if you just zoom out of the chart, let's go and see how price has performed relative to the 21 EMA, the 10 SMA, as well as the 10 KIN. And what do you know, guys? It is the same picture. Okay, we take out that 10 KIN and we hold it as support along with the 21 EMA and the 10 SMA. And throughout that entire run up, we never lost the 21 EMA or the 10 KIN. Okay, those were extremely, extremely good guides. And this right here, this candle right here was the first bearish tell right we lost it we had that very very classic retest and then further continuation to the downside so what we're looking for right now if you are someone who is in a bullish trade on t fuel bdc is for price on the four hour time frame to start closing over that four hour tenkin that will solidify the bullish stance on this Okay, consecutive candle body closes. That's what we will be looking for. So right now, what is to know? T fuel is in no man's land. Okay, this has not come to a decision point. This could swing either way. Okay, if we break that tenkin on both the BDC chart as well as the USDT chart to the upside and we start closing candles over that, I'm saying we're going up. If we break the 10 SMA to the downside as well as that major, major horizontal, I'm saying this is likely to come down further. So be very careful. This is sandwiched in a very very tight to narrow zone right now okay so handle this with uh, with care and yeah this is all i have for you for t fuel guys with this trade safely trade stress-free trade the mango way trade the easy way guys ciao